Heyo guys. Another episode of StarCraft Shenanigans. <laughs> Doing my stretching, that's why I sound like that. <sighs> Don't ask why I have to stretch. I just do. <laughs> Alright. 2014 season 3. Man, I haven't actually played this in a while. Even even back when I like played however many weeks ago, 20 some weeks ago, that was really like custom games, which are like or arcade games they call them now, uh, which is like mods and stuff. So it's not like the main you know what Starcraft is about and stuff. Um, and like those are fun and all, and I'll probably record some because they're fun. But um, I wouldn't call it. Uh, yeah, so it's it's like it's different from this. It's not as I don't know skill heavy. Um, it's not as intense or competitive. Um, so yeah, like even when I played, like I wasn't. I don't think I was in a league. I don't think I've really played seriously, like trying to get in a good league or whatever for for a while. And even now, I'm not really trying to. I'm just kind of playing for fun because I haven't played in a while. Um, you have yeah, not enough that's, that's minerals. Not. Is this the same map? Oh, come on. I don't think I even you changed the map minerals. settings. You have not enough minerals. You have, you have not, not enough, enough minerals. minerals. That's the result of me pressing the hotkey for pro a lot. So if you, you notice, not I, I'm not like clicking on it. You have not enough um, minerals. You know, if I know the hotkey, I'm usually not going to click on it. And in most cases, I, I do know the hotkey. Sometimes I. Click on it even if I know the hockey is just me have not played in a while. Um, in this case, I'm too far to do this blocking thing that you saw last time. Um, what, the, what people do is they block the ramp to help prevent stuff like early rushes. Um, so we are facing a Terran and a Zerg, so that is actually kind of something that we should worry about, at least in a basic sense. Especially if people do what's called proxying, which is essentially building your buildings closer to the enemy base. Um, that takes down the travel time for each unit, so that, that can add up quite a bit. And it allows you to, you know, if you produce units faster than well, the person who's defending, you can attack them pretty quickly without that delay in actually getting the units there, which allows your defense more time to amass their own units. So essentially, it's it's a it's a rush. Um, you know, it's an early game attack. The last game, uh, if you saw it, the place of the match where uh, I, I lost uh, despite having the highest score. Um, I got into silver. I, it, that was a really long game. Uh, that you know, that just kind of happened to be that way. But yeah, that was quite the long game. I I wouldn't consider that the norm um, by any stretch of the means. And yeah, he's already uh, ling rush incoming. He's definitely ling rushing. And this guy is building up here. So we can also expect your probes are under attack. I told them about it, but I still can stop it. That is what it is. Um, 
that's a little trick I picked up a while ago. Uh, I don't know how actually useful it was in that particular instance. But... Justice be done. Alright, this guy's kind of new. I kind of mean, I can actually tell. Definitely a scrub. But you know what? I'm kind of used to this. So, I, as a rule, I don't. You know, I chose to play 2v2. I should expect people to be scrubs. <laughs> and even if they're not scrubs, they'll, they'll still blame me anyway, so. You know, whatever. <laughs> I am here. We are the Blades of Iron, our turn. And he is going to do something already. He's going to... Oh, he's an exponent. That's great. That is great. Not really. I'm sarcastic, but this is not great. Uh, what that means is... Oh, my partner isn't really um, defending at all. So I now have to take care of defense, and offense, and everything. Research complete. Because why not? Your probes are under attack. Alright, man, I should save that probe. That was close. Direct us. I am a Doesn't even have warp carriers. Come on, bud. Step your game up, man. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is put my teammate doesn't look like he's gonna show me much in this game. Um, the thing is, he doesn't even have enough workers for it to be worth it yet. So we, you either gotta do it really early and start building workers on both, or you should do it later. But just kind of doing it in the middle is just kind of selling yourself up for failure, if you ask me. And maybe he did intend to do it earlier, but we got rushed. But that's kind of his fault for not scouting. Um, you know, I can only do so much of the scouting. So it looks like he's going to go off and attack now. Uh, I don't suggest attacking, but okay. You know, I we are the people blade. aren't going to listen for the most part, so it's kind of... In a way, pointless to even bother seeing anything. Shadows. Um. But yeah. You have not enough minerals. Oh well. See exactly. So even if I say anything, not enough energy. They, they don't really care. They don't have the. You know, it's like oh, they have units that can certainly attack. Well, whatever, whatever floats your boat. You have not enough How much else I can say, too? I am here in the shadows. <laughs> Upgrade complete. It shall be as you say. Intriguing. Your allies are in bad search complete. You can't even see the ramp. So, while this guy is lagging, what happens is, when you can't even see the ramp, you have the joy, quote-unquote, of not being able to attack. Um, you know, you can't attack what you can't see. Uh, that's, that's part of the whole, you know, terrain battle. You have to have vision. So you can have vision by having an air unit, or uh, by scanning, or just by having high ground, or um, something like that. So... This actually sucks, because if he leaves, uh, that's going to put me all by myself. And while I have won 2v1s before, it's not very common, because you have, well, 2v1. Um, you have, you know, half the movements. Not exactly. In this case, this dude isn't doing that much, so it's probably only like a, you know, 35% decrease in productivity or something. But, you know, I still have to manage his base um, on top of my own. And, well, that's not but hey, at least since I... Oh, okay, now this guy's dropping too. Uh, 2v2? I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> I have an idea, though. I do have the DT thing, so what I'm going to do is put up a robo bay and send over some DTs. Hope that does damage without me microing too much. And 
In the meantime, build up an army with maybe stalkers and archons. Um, archons will help with this other garbage. And work on a little bit of air, because the air will help with vision. Um, and keep expoing. Uh, he probably has an expo. They both probably have expos. Can't be sure, because I don't have anything to scout with. But yeah. Ultra I feel like this guy is trying to say Ultra Vs or something, but I, I don't actually know what he's saying. And I'm just going to ignore, and I don't know what's going on here, um, to be perfectly blunt. <laughs> It could be it could be StarCraft that's doing this. I'm here in the shadows. Alright, I somehow need to connect with the bases. That's fine. Well, I guess it's really a lot more than that now, isn't it? From the shadows. Yeah, I said I was going to do all that. You have not enough garbage about. Um, oh, I'm so cool. Let me. Uh, The reason why I'm getting so much gas, even though I already have plenty of gas, is because you tend to need a lot more gas than you need other things. Alright, there that's a little bit too many probes, so... Alright, now we're good. You must place that in a pipe. thing to do here is scan the creates because I'm Protoss and I'm good at spamming. Gates. Gates are really easy because you just click and there the units exist. Can't go wrong. Alright, maybe you can. It's kind of hard. You need a detector though because if he were to also have DTs that would go sour real fast. That is not a gateway. I already had one. Alright, I don't know why I'm getting two. I don't need it. I don't really need two. We'll start on those upgrades. I don't actually need So he has towers up, which is not here. Uh, 
cost of well, almost my entire base. We seek enlightenment. You must construct additional pylons. I like the pylon. Thankfully, there is something. I cannot maintain. You must construct additional pylons. From the shadows, I come. Research complete. interested in rebuilding and stuff. I which, cannot which, maintain. You know what? Perfectly fine with me. Because you know, I've got enough on the plane. <laughs> Actually, I had a chance at that time because he also had to manage two bases. And those DTs were just kind of sitting there. <laughs> they did some damage and eventually killed him. But it looks like the dude was the Terran who was left, I think. And he didn't want to manage the Zerg base. Or maybe he didn't know how because the other, you know, some people just don't know how to play the other aces. Um, that's cool, I guess. Yeah, he could have played a lot better. Looks like he had a lot more unspent resources, and he just couldn't match with the APM. So, it looks like that's why I won. Yeah, I, I seem to have that resources score. It was a lot higher. Alright. Am I rank? What am I rank? 21? Okay. I can dig that. Sure, why not? Next time. Laser plays Terran.